Okay, so you can see the drone here. Now we have a bit of an issue. I put two propellers on here, they clash. Um, we can't have that. So I bought a new set from eBay, and hopefully they'll arrive soon, and I can continue with the project. Okay, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some wire on the battery terminals. So I've got to tin the wire, so all the battery terminals there, just in preparation for when the bullet connectors arrive, that's all. So let's zoom into the area in question. So I'm going to solder two wires to that. So this is the wire I'm going to use and it should be sufficient. I mean you do have to actually care about um, the rating of cable and yeah really th this should be checked out properly but because I'm using it for such a short distance I'm not too worried. Anyway let's just move this out of the way. Move the drone out of the way for a, for a minute. So so here's a black wire. Now the battery is actually going to be in there, so you know this wire doesn't need to be too long. Probably about well, actually the battery could could cover here and could come through. So um, probably about that long, whatever that is. Let's have a look. It is 15 centimeters. 15 centimeters. So let's take that off there. So 15 centimeters of the black wire, and we need 15 centimeters of the red wire, too. So we've got the two pieces of wire now. And now I'll take about uh, four millimetres off that. Bit more. Take about, f well, yeah, that'll do, four millimetres or so. And off the, I'll take a little bit more off the other side actually. I'll go about six or seven. And here. Okay. So there we go. We've got the two pieces of wire ready now. Now I think I'll solder it in. I'll just tin the ends of this first. Just move this out of the way for a second. Just gonna tin the ends of these. On this one, just heat the wire up. Okay. Right, that's done, and then I'll solder this up now. Okay. That should do nicely. Um, while the soldering on iron is hot, I think I'll tin these as well. So now they're, they're tinned properly. That's ready for the bullet connectors. So we've got that the battery pack wires on now.
Okay, that will do for the time being, I think. Welcome back. So, the propellers have arrived now, and here they are. And, um, we can continue. So, I'll just get my drone back. And we'll look at one. See, this is the front here. I've got the back as black and the front as red. So I'll just focus on one of them. So, um, the way this works is you get, of the four propellers, you get two of a type and two of another type. So, let's just show you that again. So you see here, this, um, this is a, a pair. They're not the same. No. They're not the same. And the other pair are also not the same. So there are two types. There's like an A and B or clockwise and anti-clockwise, whatever. But this is what you've got to do anyway. I'll get this over here. And if this is the front, the red here, this is the front. I'll just zoom out a bit more actually. Um, the way to remember it is that the the middle here, if you imagine there's a slide and you sat at the top of this and you want to slide down, that's the way that's the easiest way to remember. So they go like that. Now you can see that these propellers are too big, but whatever, for the time being it doesn't matter. Um, but you can see that you could slide down it like a slide and on the back it's the same so on the back you would have them like that and when they're on you'd be able to slide down from the back from the back so that's how you could put them on so now you get these little things I don't know what they're called but okay you get these so I'll put one on there like that and I'll put the other one on as well so both those things are on right the next one we have to do is choose an appropriate one of these so if you turn the propeller around you can see there's a hole and you can think alright let's put it on there so let's find a find one of these and put it on oh that fits so that's the one that's the correct one that's wrong that doesn't always work and the reason being is because if I zoom in here you can see that there's a little piece that sticks out a little bit you need to actually cover well you need to be around that piece and not on it so if I was to put this one on, I don't know if the camera will, no, the camera's not going to pick it out, but it would actually catch and not let the thing tighten. So you need one that will go around, so quick, we need one that will go around that, um, that piece there. So basically I've already done that. Okay, so the instinct is to go for this one because it fits snugly around that but it will, it will jam. So I've gone for the next size up, which is this one. And it's a bit more of a loose fit, but that's actually the correct one because it will tighten the mechanism here underneath. There's a, like a, a mechanism which um, which holds on to the uh, spindle of the motor. So yeah, uh, don't get caught out with that one. So I'll just tighten this on loose. Okay. And that's on, so do the same for the next one. So find the find the correct uh, little plastic washer thing or adapter, whatever it's called. And it's this one. Yeah. See, it's not a very snug fit, but it is a clearance around that little piece there. So, put 
put this on here and we're good there. I mentioned earlier about the slide, so if you were if this is the front here and you were on the quadcopter, you'd be able to stand here and slide forward. So that's correct. So I'll just tighten these up. And they should tighten nicely. I actually couldn't find anything properly to tighten this, so I've just I'm using the screwdriver instead. And then I'll just give it a quick lift, and it won't lift, so that's good enough. And the same for this one. No, that one's lifting, so not tight enough. That's better. So I've got two of the propellers on now. As you can see there. So I'll put the other two on. Yeah, this overlap. I think what I might do is I, might, I could either trim that or um, or not. <laughs> oh well, I could probably get different propellers, but this is already my second set, so. But then I found these very cheap. I think I'll probably just trim that, which isn't isn't the best, but it'll be all right, I'm sure. I said that the the propellers were a couple of millimeters too long. Um, well, they're not anymore. What I did was um, I fixed them on, then I overlapped them, and then when I overlapped them, I got a a marker, a permanent marker, and just very carefully um, made a mark all along the edge of the overlapping propeller and then I did that, turned it the other way around, marked the other one and of course on both sides of the propeller, on all the propellers so in total there are um, eight, eight cuts or eight marks so I marked them off and then I used some snips and then just um, made it straight and then just snipped the end so I snipped all of the ends like that um, but um, so I've snipped that but now I need to um, this is just some aluminium oxide paper sandpaper and I just need to just ease the ends of these off so I'm going to do that now it's actually a very nice edge now I've rounded it slightly, so yeah. So I've just got to repeat that for the for the other seven, really, and then um, move on to the next stage. Okay, so here's the end result. I'm actually trying a new feature on my phone too. It's uh, some sort. It's like a, a focusing tool. Usually, the phone doesn't let you um, focus into specific places. And right now, it try and focus on the background because there's more of it. But anyway. Um, so here's the job and there's the job I've done I'm actually quite impressed with that let's have a look at the other one yeah, a little bit more rough but I'll just clean that up hang on better and on the other ones just shows you actually can do quite a good job of uh, these propellers one's a bit rough
Okay, so there we go. And we're a step further with the quadcopter. The next thing we need to do really is to test the SCs and um, make some, I don't know, make a script on the um, Arduino to be able to control the the SCs, which of course control the motors. So I think that's what I'll have to do next.